All right, you girls, you lash ladies, you lash gents, here's tip number one that I'm giving you all how you can start your lash business or maybe you want to purchase something, whatever the case may be, you all, sell your lashes, okay? I was about to say maybe you want to purchase something and this is a way that you're going to show your diligence and being able to be an entrepreneur and put your hands on something and make some stream of income come in or streams of income because some of y'all may have more than one or two lash styles but you can promote advertise or simply put show your lash product on your smartphone this requires really zero to little startup costs all you're paying for is your phone bill that you're already paying for anyway or if you're just not getting a cell phone, you know, it's still going to be zero to little startup because you don't have to have any inventory. You can always ask for a portion down. Make sure the portion after you have priced your lashes covers your shipping and the price of the lash. Okay, or you may just want to do 10 percent down, which would fall in the little category. There was a zero startup cost and you put the rest with it. That way you have 10% down. Let them know the turnaround time to expect their lash to come in. Um, always be professional in customer service. Send pics through your, through your smartphone, you all. You can do emails, email or text. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, messaging individuals it's so many different ways that you can get in contact with people nowadays i just can't simplify it down to one you be the visionary how you want to care your business for me my lashes sold themselves that la the lashes that i did the last video on i had some young ladies and if i had I had time i would have actually uh structured them a little bit with just for the tidbit of uh, idea to their mind that they could sell those and make some money this summer, it was about two or three young ladies standing out. So, and they complimented my eyelashes. So, that's really what threw me, like I've said before, uh, in these tutorials into business. I was just getting so many compliments on my lashes. And I was like, you know what? I think I really, really do. I believe I'm going to start selling my own. So, years ago, that's what I did uh, right before COVID. So, you know, people close to you and people that's trying to help you, and they may be strangers, but it's kind of like I see uh, um, visions of the little candy orders we took years ago in school. Doing the, some of y'all may remember the candy orders or whatever not. They only had pictures you all that we took around to strangers sometimes, and you'd be surprised at the people who bought these items. Of course, it was a, tr a trusted fundraiser, but they still had to trust the, p the person they were giving their funds to. And then you would go back two or three weeks later and collect the money. So I'm trying my best to allow you to see that vision. It can be done just by showing a picture or sending an email. Or you may want to model your own. You want may want to test out your lash, see how it looks, and say, hey, I'm just going to start wearing these. Once I get a compliment, you write down your information or text the person your information. And hey, you're you're in business so that's zero too little startup cost and y'all can streamline off of that because i could go so many different ways off of just one idea that's why i said i'm only going to give three and we've got some awesome things coming up so make sure your pricing is right that's one thing i definitely want to stress do not be afraid if you have a quality lash and you know your lashes are out banging what's in the store. You price those lashes for what they are worth. I had lashes when I was doing my own eyelashes for every income stream. I had the lower lash value. They were still fabulous. I didn't sell anybody low value just because they couldn't afford the high quality ones. Like I said, I wasn't in business long because COVID came in and knocked uh, a lot of my, my shipments. I just couldn't get the product. It was, it was horrible. You all who remember, it was just hard to get things, uh, even toilet paper and, and different things, sanitizing, uh, things to wipe our hands with. But I always had lashes for every income, low, medium, high, uh, baller on a budget, just want a budget because just because people don't pay a lot for lashes, which I don't, uh, but I always get the quality 
and I'm, I'm going to share some of my tidbits with you all. You all just stay tuned. But this is one way today. It is June the 8th. It is my baby sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Bree. Um, so you all can get started right now laying down on while you're on your phone. Make your own money. Y'all have a great one. Tip number two will be coming up. Y'all have a great one.